I'm Zane Redfern, home decorating enthusiast and creator of At Home with Zane. Today I want to share with you some more items I picked up from the Dollar Tree for my fall decor and I also visited our local savers. So I'll start with the items that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I found these fall picks and I really love these because they have the corn husk in them that are nice and weathered, very rustic looking. They have a large acorn and they also have a large pine cone. And so this is just a real nice, um, attractive, weathered look that I think can be really incorporated into um, some sort of arrangement and it will look very rustic and upscale, uh, you know, having these different maple leaves and then the corn husk in the top here. Um, there's a few of them that have a little bit larger ones, as you can see, and they're nice and brown and rustic and weathered. So I, they only had four of them and I picked up all four. So the next thing that I grabbed were some of these cream colored mums and I also grabbed um, a few stems of the maple leaves because they have a little bit more of a brown tint to them and I grabbed several of the cream colored mums here because I have a specific arrangement that I'll be putting together um, and so I grabbed a bunch of these and it's going to be very very pretty um, in that arrangement. So I grabbed some of the mums and some of the maple leaves from the Dollar Tree as well. I also picked up two of the little scarecrows. The, they're kind of like little bobbleheads. They have springs in them. Here is the, um, the gentleman, and then here is the little lady. And um, they're just a really cute little pair. I don't typically use, um, you know, more of the like sort of whimsical type of decor but these were really cute and I have an idea on where I'm going to put them so I grabbed one of each of those. I also grabbed two more packages of the acorns that I shared in one of my previous hauls um, because I feel like I can just never have too many of those and I grabbed a bag of the Spanish moss because this is actually really good for rustic fall decorating. So I was um, able to grab a bag of that along with the acorns from the uh, Dollar Tree. And if you're looking for the acorns, they don't have them at all the Dollar Trees, but I went back to the one that I knew had them and they're running out very quickly. So to round off my Dollar Tree decor, I picked up three of the cream colored pumpkins here. And I have a DIY that I'm gonna be doing um, where I use these pumpkins along with some other ones, but um, the cream colored pumpkins, I picked some of these up last year, but they ran out of them really quickly, so I grabbed three of those. And then I grabbed two of these pumpkin fillers, and I really like these. Um, they have a really nice color to them, and they're long, and they'll work really well in um, adding a filler or accent to a decor or you know a vase, or I already have an idea on what I'm gonna do with these, but. You'll just have to stay tuned to see how I use them. And so at the Dollar Tree, that's everything that I grabbed. So now I'm gonna move on to what I purchased from Savers. From Savers, I just grabbed a few items and one of them is this basket, which is very, very rustic and it's made out of like sticks or vines. And I picked this up for only $2.99. And so this is gonna work really well in my autumn decor. I already have several ideas for this. $2.99 for this basket, it was a really great deal, I thought, because these can be pretty pricey. And so I grabbed this. I also grabbed two of these pumpkins. They were $1.49 each. And these are those sort of foam type of pumpkins. And I have a DIY that I'm going to do with these and I'm going to share that with you. And it's a really, um, really impressive DIY to um, transition these pumpkins. So they're a little bit larger than a pie pumpkin, but they're a really nice size for decorating. And so for $1.49 each, I grabbed those right away. And then I grabbed another basket that's real rustic and I love the style of this, very colonial looking. And this basket was also only $2.99. And so I felt like I really kind of scored with um, the baskets that I found and the price. So I picked up this basket as well. 
And then to round off what I purchased at Savers, I grabbed one of these um, grapevine wreaths because this was actually a really thick wreath. I believe that this was probably one of the more expensive ones and it was only 99 cents. So I grabbed this because I have some ideas for this and it's very, um, it's shellacked and it's just in really great condition. So I was definitely not leaving without that. I also picked up this, it says Kentucky Woods Bourbon Barrel Cake and it has a lid on it. And I thought this was just a really interesting looking box and it was only $1.99. So for $1.99, I couldn't pass this up because I actually think I'm going to attach a hanger to the back of it and I'm going to hang this on the wall. But if I don't, I do have a few other ideas in mind for it. So this was just a really neat looking basket, I thought. Like I said, it has a lid and um, I believe probably a Kentucky Woods bourbon barrel cake came in it. So I grabbed that because I thought it was really interesting. And then these were two vintage, um, they say Better Homes and Gardens on them. And they're the little sort of jelly jars and they have the red and white check on the top. And I really like these type of jars for displays. And so this was 99 cents and I'll use this even, you know, not, not necessarily for fall, but um, I'll use these in everyday decor. And they only had two, so I grabbed both of them. And then the last thing I grabbed was this um, cylinder vase. I love to find these at thrift stores. This was only 99 cents and it's very, very heavy weight. So I love whenever I'm able to find um, vases that are this size because these are perfect for decorating and when you can get them for only 99 cents or a few dollars, they are totally worth picking up. I feel like I just can never have enough of these because I use them so often. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the subscription button and also be sure and hit the notification bell so that you're notified anytime I put out a new video. Also in my video description is links to all my social media sites, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my website www.athomewithzane.com is in there. My email address is in there. I have tons of subscribers that email me pictures of the DIYs that they've done that I've shared, things like that. I'm always sharing stuff on Instagram. So if I'm not here in front of the camera, I've got a lot of different things that I share going on on all of those other social media sites. So if you want to stay in tuned, hit the notification bell, subscribe to my channel, visit all my social media sites. Thank you so much for watching and we'll look for you the next time.